So yeah, the map component has a feature where you can display markers on the map to highlight some geographical features. But let's say if you have 200 of those, it looks like this. And um, yeah, that is obviously not, not very helpful. Get feature layers clustering enabled. Then becomes a lot cleaner. Uh, the features are grouped together into these clusters. And then when you zoom in, you can see that the clusters dissolve into smaller clusters or then back to individual features. So you can add a click listener for our clusters. So that would be this one. And then you can get all the features. And yeah, then, then you could do anything else with them if, if that uh, is necessary for your application logic. Um, specifically to uh, zoom in on them, we've added a, another method um, to the map just called zoom to fit. So for zoom to fit, we can pass uh, the list of features that we want to um, have visible in the viewport. Uh, so second argument, we can pass a padding. That's basically the offset to the border of the map that we want to preserve. We don't want to show a feature. We could use like, I don't know, 80 pixels. And the third argument is a duration for the animation when it zooms in. So if you use zero, it um, snaps, uh, changes the viewport instantly. Um, and if you pass some arguments here, like 800 milliseconds, then uh, you get an animation for that as well. So now if we click on some cluster here, then we see, okay, it uh, zooms in and reveals the, the four features that were in this cluster. Um, yeah, and I think that's pretty much it. <laughs>